everybody, I'm making this video so that you can know that you don't have to be afraid if you're going to have a tooth removed and also what to expect afterwards and before. So I went yesterday and I had one of my molars taken out. It had gotten infected and I guess it was broken, I think. So the dentist said it was better to just take it out. So I went in, of course with the COVID-19, I had to go with a mask, but then obviously you have to take your mask off. Um, the dentist, the first visit I went to, they took an x-ray and then they made the appointment to come back in to have it removed. Um, it was very, mine was very easy. Uh, he put some solution, some like numbing stuff that's like he puts on with like a big Q-tip and then he like massaged it around for a little while. I guess that distributes it through your gums so that it takes, starts working. And then he gave me injections, which I really didn't even hardly feel. So don't be afraid because it's, it's not it's not painful that it's not really painful hardly at all and it's not scary um and then he just started to take it out he 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 they kind of like pull and wiggle and stuff and some people are harder than others i'm sure mine broke made a big cracking sound kind of um and then the assistant got little took out little pieces and I guess and then um, the only thing that kind of did hurt I have a really small mouth so when he was trying to pull it he pushed down on my lip really hard but you know I I was like ah then he stopped right away so that was no big deal though and if you have a bigger mouth than I do you probably won't have that happen um, so he just kept wiggling and pulling and it came out. I didn't really get to see it. It kind of went fast. And then um, maybe if you ask to see it, they'll let you see it. I don't know. But, um, and then they just, they just give you a piece of gauze that's kind of folded up and you put it in there and you bite down so that you're applying pressure because you want it to build up a blood clot, which is very important because that's one thing when you have your tooth pulled, you don't want to get dry socket. And dry socket is what happens if your your the hole where they took your tooth out of, it doesn't form a blood clot properly or it gets dislodged afterwards and um, it can be really painful so you have to follow all the instructions so um, I I kept the gauze in and I think I had to change it they give you usually they give you packets of gauze they also gave me um, instructions which tell you all about how to take care of your mouth and your where they pulled your tooth out of um, and follow them if you smoke which I hope you don't they you're advised not to smoke for at least three days don't drink alcoholic beverages it's not good for healing um, you can't drink out of a straw because that can dislodge the blood clot you can't um, spit like really hard or well it's good just to not spit for the first 24 hours at least because you, do, you don't want to do things that's gonna that is gonna dislodge the clot um so I just changed the gauze and then I ended up putting a tea bag I had some decaf chai tea bags so I put a tea bag in there uh, you can do that and then I ended up folding up into like a little square uh, piece of Scott towel I don't know if that's a good idea, but it worked. But I would advise sleeping when you have that in there or the tea bag because you don't want it to, you don't want to choke on it. So try to, when you're keeping that, it usually takes about three hours 
when you sometimes list but try to stay awake um the doctor may give you something for pain or you can take uh, Tylenol or ibuprofen um, just follow the directions it's good to stay on top of the pain so that you don't you know you don't need to, to suffer for it's just good to stay on top of the pain you can also put ice on it um, but I would put like um, a washcloth or something to don't put ice directly on your face because it's not really good for your skin um, so yeah, after I got home and I did the the thing with the biting down and then it stopped bleeding eventually. I think it took about three and a half hours. And then I noticed when I sp spit the gauze out or the well, I, I was doing this cotton towel at that point. Um, which you can ask them for extra gauze and they'll give you packets. Um when I spit the Scott towel thing out, there wasn't that much blood on it, so I knew it was stopping. And you have to, it's good before you go to the dentist to make sure you have some soups. I had bought, um, I had tomato soup and I had, which I already had, and then I bought some rice pudding. And this morning I had, like, it was, it's slim fast, but it's like instant breakfast. Um, it's good to drink lots of fluids drink water um, and keep you know don't starve yourself but you can't really eat hard things um, you need to eat things that are soft like soups puddings milkshakes that's kind of good um, smoothies but don't drink with a straw use a spoon um, anyway for a few days and then gradually start adding um, more hard foods but be careful where you had the tooth taken out or teeth taken out this is more difficult if you're having your wisdom teeth because that's a much bigger um, I just had one tooth taken out so with wisdom teeth it's kind of the same thing just multiply because you're having more and, um, but it's still, today the way the dentists are and everything and the equipment, it's not scary. And so I don't want you to be afraid. I just wanted you to know what to expect and, um, what to do afterwards. And don't be nervous that my dentist is really good and hopefully yours is too. And the assistants are very nice and um, just follow the instructions I'm not a dentist I'm not I have no dental training whatsoever so I'm just relating my experiences with um, having my tooth taken out and I just don't want you to be afraid it's not it's not really painful at all it's just afterwards it's kind of sore Make sure you take care of yourself afterwards and try to get rest, especially the first 24 hours. Um, try not to do anything like exercising or vigorous, moving around for at least a couple of days. And um, just follow the instructions that they give you, but especially the first 24 hours. And then I think after 24 hours, you can rinse with warm salt water, not really hard, you know, not super hard, but just gentle rinse, rinsing your mouth, um, not hot, hot salt water, but you know, warm salt water, and uh, just, then you can brush your teeth, it's good to keep your teeth clean, but don't brush around where you had the tooth pulled, uh, especially for like, the first week or so because you want to keep that you don't want to you want that blood clot to stay there and that helps you heal so take care of yourself don't be afraid and follow your dentist instructions and everything will be fine it's really not that bad and it's not scary and I wanted you to know whether you're little or whether you're old maybe you'll never have to have a tooth pulled 
but um, eventually many of us do have to have one pulled, so just don't be worried. And I love you guys, and take care. Be safe.